let's go back to your Huzzy band. Yeah. So you guys met when you were doing Dancing with the Stars. Yes. Which I just think is like just a big bonk fest. I feel like everyone uh, that goes on that show, it's well, just like... You're so close for yes. so many hours a day, for yes. so many weeks straight. I know, that's what I'm so. like. If I was... Now, I said to Sam, if I ever went on that show, I would absolutely have an affair. Just yeah, so you know, well, we like... were both single, which started well. Yeah, thank God. <laughs> Lucky. Yep. When you first saw him, though, you were like, oh, I'm in trouble here. Well, you were he, just like... he was just about to move to America, like, that next oh, month. Oh, wow. Yeah, right. so he had everything booked, ready to rock and roll. Um, I think to do American Dancing with the Stars. Right. Um, or pursue acting, which was another thing he was going to do. And then um, I remember standing in that hallway about to enter that rehearsal studio for the first time. Cameras, everything, I'm shaking like a leaf. Aww. I'd never danced before, it was so awkward. He was, you know, in his element inside. I had no clue who my partner was. Right. And I remember walking in, going, thinking in my head, he has got to be gay. <laughs> <laughs> because no straight man is that manicured and attractive and everything was, I'm like, just perfect. Oh. Jeez, lovely to meet you, you know. And here I am, flyaways everywhere. Oh, <laughs> you know, cute. just normal, yeah, like, yeah. whatever. And um, and yeah, he wasn't gay. He turned out to be straight. Yes, were you fat? Well, like, yes. yeah, yeah. And just kids in. I had never ever witnessed um, a man treat. I'd never had a man talk, treat, touch, or deal with me in a way that he did. He wow. was just so softly spoken and warm and opened every door, paid and picked up every meal, um, coffees, uh, just the touch. Right. You know, I think, you know, 20 years experience, it wasn't just like good work, it was like ragey. You know, like very... Wow. I was just like, oh. <laughs> oh, wow. And so wet, how long so, into the process were you like, she was, I'm really into him? Two or three weeks into meeting each other, um, I had little items over his house. Shut up. We were super quick, super wow. fast. Yeah, six months in, he engaged. Uh, he proposed. Oh we got engaged. God. Yeah. So that first rehearsal, yeah, uh, dance rehearsal that we had, we went downstairs to the cafe underneath the studio, and chatted for so long that the lady was like brushing us out wow, with the broom. That's so cool. Um, and it was just nonstop. You know, talking every night. Um, in the studio all day long, you know. But then he didn't kiss for a while either, did you? No, well, this would have been this amazing tension between oh, you. Oh, my God. It was very intense. Yeah. Very intense because, you know, you're going, do I? Does he? Yeah. And I remember when he picked me up for our first date on, you know, week two, um, we went to Toko's in Surrey Hills. It's a beautiful Japanese restaurant. Yeah. And we still go back that go back there every year for a oh, little yearly thing. Oh, yeah, oh, oh three times a year, we love it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Um, but yeah, I remember he picked me up and dropped me off, and you know there might be a kiss at the end, but there was nothing. It was just he walked me to the door, made sure I was there, waited in the car until I closed the, oh, the door. Wow. Like he's like old school gentleman. Very old school. Yeah, yeah. So and that has not changed since. So even with two kids, when yeah. we're getting into the car, he'll still get my door, get the kids. Really? Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> so I'm very lucky. You yeah. said that he would pick up the, the bill all the time. Which yes. When I first got with my partner, he was a tight ass. Gotcha. And I had to. I had the most uncomfortable conversation with him. And I'm each to their own. No, know? mate. And no, not <laughs> each to their own. No, but I think it's, no. it's different. It's... It, but I had to oh, say to him, he's splitting the bill I is making me want to like zip my vagina shut. It's so unattractive. <laughs> and so I, after I spoke, now he's incredible. But I had to, he's like, oh, I thought women wanted to pay. You know, they get confused as well. They On do. top of being a bit cheap, he was like, I just assumed, like I didn't want to. Yeah. I don't think that it is taking a woman's power away for a guy to pick up the bill. I like that. And sometimes I go, is that contradicting myself where I go, no, you know, I'm, I'm a strong feminist, but I'm like, it yeah. doesn't hurt for you to get the bill. No, you get the bill. I think it's, um, it goes back to that whole traditional thing yeah. of taking care of and 
whilst I was totally fine to split the bill or yeah. pay for the bill. I think it's also knowing you can. I didn't feel my power taken away because it's like, I have the money to pay for this and yeah. I can shout you, and that, but I like you. There is that something about it. Yes. I really like that. It, it, there's Yeah, there's a real attraction to it. You feel safe. You feel yeah. there's this... Yeah, there's an element of it that um, you really respect that y your man can do that for yeah. you. Well, yeah. Well, I have some girl. I have one a, a girlfriend who the whole way with her relationship was like six years. Would never let him pay. I've, and I'm I, like, what? I know a couple that have got children together that still have all separate money. Yeah, right. <laughs> it's interesting, isn't it? And as you know, as we just said, each to their own. Yeah. And who are we to judge their particular circumstance? Yeah. Because we don't know what goes on behind closed doors. No. But from an outsider's perspective. But outsider's perspective, we go, oh, married, kids, and yeah. you still use different accounts and yeah. you still have everything separated. So she gets her pay packet, he gets his pay packet. Yeah, right. And they just split everything. Or, uh, yeah, and she'll go, oh, no, that's I'm buying that for me. That's my skincare product. I'll take that from mine. Oh, and he wow. goes, oh, I'm going to get something for the boat, so I'll get that from... <laughs> yeah, right. It's interesting, isn't it? Because we have a joint account, but we have our own accounts. But yeah. Sam, like, I still have access to his, but he doesn't have access to mine. Yeah, well, ours are complete. I wouldn't know what's mine and what's Mish's. Yeah. We, everything is all together. Yeah. So, yeah. I still do like having my own purely because I don't like... Um, not that Sam would ever care about anything but for some and I don't know if it goes back to coming up with it growing up with a single mum and seeing her struggle a bit and going mm. I always need to have my independence even though there's no money in there for me to ever run away or anything I yeah. just like going I'll just get that if I yeah. want or, you know understand but so yeah. he's like my money is our money but your money is your money I'm like yeah <laughs> it is you're right very much yeah. like that and I think it's also it brings up the whole topic of prenuptial agreements yeah and that's a really that's a really kind of itchy topic as well because you go oh well if, if it does happen and you don't want to think like that no but if it does happen then what what do we do are they even you know? do they work in australia are they legally binding here to be honest i've never explored it i would i I'm, i would assume they are legally binding yeah. um but I've, i we haven't got one and i i you know i would never get one yeah um just because, you know, I... It's a tough thing to bring up, isn't it? It is a tough thing. Like, it would be absolutely challenging and difficult. Yeah. And, you know, I think the love and the relationship is is the biggest, most important priority. Yeah, yeah. So... But you then get, you also... You know what I was... I, we're at that age now where I've some friends starting to break up. Mm. You don't get into a relationship thinking this is going to end. You just yeah. don't, you know. No. So then I, I often say to Sam... We don't, like, people who we didn't think would break up are starting to break up. I'm like, that's fucking scary. Like, we don't know what's going to happen. It's true. So then maybe for people who are loaded, yeah, maybe you would have to go, I've got I to think, protect myself a I bit I think here. also in the early stages of a relationship, yeah, before getting too deep, you can, you know, you, you may be able to tell with the person yeah. how... And, you know, there's a, there are those odd circumstances that we've seen in the past where, you know, someone's partner has completely shocked them years down the track. Mm. But, you know, I knew from the start what Misha was going to be like. Mm. He kind of knew what I was going to be like. And I think you have faith. You, you, you've got to keep that faith in that yeah. person and in that relationship. And the moment you switch your brain to, I don't have faith, what if, down the track, that changes your actions, mm. your thought process the communication, even subconsciously, yeah, when you yeah. don't think you're doing it, I think it does. Yeah, so oh, I think sure, it's yeah. kind of like, you know, our Olympic athletes and the, the, the people at the top of their game in sport and career and business, they've always got what they want and they won't Deviate sway. Yeah, yeah. So it's the same, I think it's the same in relationships mm. where the stronger you are and you know, you've got to teach your mind to stay a certain way. Mm. And of course, there's going to be challenges along the way. We're not saying that, you know, I get pissed off when he doesn't do the dishes yeah, or yeah. I told him to do that. He didn't pick the lemons up. Yeah, of yeah. course, that's annoying. Yeah. But it's, you know, if you've got your core values and where you're heading in that same direction mm. and you're strong about that, I think... Um, think you can let the small things go yeah we well, have to otherwise it just does your head in that's right you know we, yeah yeah <laughs> and so when he proposed six months in were you expecting it <coughs> not at all <coughs> definitely not I we were at a dance competition because um, he taught dance no, students seven days a week right. and we were down in Melbourne and he had got this 
we always, we always just sort of get, you know, a nice room, but nothing too fancy. And this one particular time, he got a really nice, like, penthouse suite. I'm going, mm. no, this is ridiculous. We're trying to save money, here, right. you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and um, we, he kept wanting to leave the comp early. And I'm going, you students, they've just competed. Just spend some time with them, you know. And he's like, oh, they'll be fine. They'll be fine. You know, I've, I've said goodbye. We went back to the room and he had got help from the staff at the hotel. Everything was covered in rose petals, candles. Oh, my goodness. Um, the whole bed had Will You Marry Me and Rose Petals written. And it was just like, what? It was phenomenal. It was gorgeous. Wow. So when you walked in, were you, were you like... Well, I'm thinking straight away, what's burning? Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh my God! <laughs> Shit! Far out. Yeah. And then when you saw all the rows, did you know? Well, I I kind of got a little bit of suspicion when he started to open the door, and he was he was just odd, and he oh. never gets nervous because oh. he's competed all his life. Yeah. Like in this professional capacity, dancing. So he's like keeps his cool all the time. Right. Even when he's nervous, you never know he's nervous. Yeah, it took right. me it's taken me eight years to now mm. know when he gets nervous. But that one particular time I just noticed he was trying to get the key in the door. Oh, that's so I love how vulnerable so they funny. feel. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, no. And then we walked in and he was like, um, saw everything and I was like, Oh my god And he got he was trying to get the thing out of the door. <laughs> He's like, got down on one knee and asked me. Oh my so, God. Yeah, and was there any beautiful. part of you that's like, uh oh? No, I said yes straight mm. away. And were your parents like, you're um, crazy? This is six months in? A little bit, yes. Yes. But especially eight years on, especially you know? my dad, you know. Yeah, right. Only, go, only daughter in the family. Um, but the more they got to know Misha, and even now, eight years down the track, yeah. it's, um, you know, I. I knew, I knew from the start yeah. and he knew and I think that was the most wow. important part. I love it when you hear those stories like yeah. yours where you're like, oh my God, you're a full success story. Yeah. You know? like uh, it's. What do you mean? Oh, well, the, the relationship. Yeah, yeah, because getting together, move, like being together so quickly, getting engaged six months later, you know, it's like, it's pretty crazy. It is very quick. Absolutely. Yeah. So then for you to be eight years down, two kids in, like totally. you're in it. You yeah. Know? And we, you know, we did spend a lot of time together. It wasn't like... You know, I'd see him once a week and then yeah. maybe catch up a couple of weeks later. We'd text every night. It was f every day for seven days a week, full time. We were getting on planes together. We were going to... It was like we were a married couple yeah. from that first rehearsal dance studio meeting. Wow. On the 10th of May, 2010. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> wow. At 10 a.m. was the time. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> into him which is oh yeah because eight years on yeah. it can sometimes get a bit boring yeah. but you're the, like really into him the, the interesting thing about misha is i'm he is <laughs> that really bad that i know all the times no everything? it's gorgeous <laughs> I love it. um he is just like if you opened him there's just so much mm. and he's just so intelligent and so creative and like compassionate about so many things that I didn't think he was yeah right. you know so you just look and go every day I, he says something new or he says an idea or a, an opinion about something and I go holy crap where did you yes yeah right I love yeah. that mm. or um I'm, I've got an opinion, a very strong opinion about s something, whether it be a plan we're about to make, something we're about to do for Bod, and I've come to him with it and he goes, no, Angel, I think what's best is if we put X here and C here and Bob, and I'm going, oh, yes, oh, you're I right. I know my partner's like that too. Yeah. I'm like, oh, yeah, you're <laughs> right. Like, um, and not all the time. Yeah. Not all the time, but a lot of the time, and I'm just so impressed at how... He's very worldly at a very young age. Yeah, yeah. And um, it's helping me grow as a person as well because yeah. I'm learning so much from him and um, I am all for surrounding yourself with really good positive people yeah. in life. And you know yourself, you are a product of what, uh, what you're around. Yeah. And he um, has just shown and given me so much as a person. Mm. And you know they say, the partner's got to bring out the best in you. And I've always heard that quote as a young girl, yeah. and I've thought, 
oh yeah, whatever, okay. Bring out the best, we have a good time, we laugh, blah, blah, blah. But when you really truly get to the depth of that and mm -hmm. you're growing in really positive ways as a person, as a human being, wanting to serve other people in the world, do follow your passions, ex challenge yourself, wake up, you're going, I don't wanna do that, but I know I should, I need to. Mm -hmm. And you, he's, he's that, inspiration and that motivation yeah, to achieve yeah. that that's when you know that yeah that's pretty special you've, you've hit the nail on the head yeah. with the person so because yeah. now you guys are working together yep as well yeah how do you go working with with your husband yeah so we're co pretty much that full-time scenario wow. so it was kind of like you know when we met on dancing with the stars yeah we went from that um full-time seven days a week and it's it's the same i think because we don't know any better I love it. I get weird when we're separated. Wow. <laughs> as as important as as it is to take that time away from each other. Yeah. You know, he goes and does his workouts with the boys on Bondi Beach um, on a Saturday, or he'll go and you know do some real estate work a few days a week somewhere. He'll go right. teach in the studio a couple of nights a week. Right. And we have little bits of time away. Yeah. But we do spend a, a hell of a lot of time together. Right. And. And, yeah, uh, <laughs> and I love it that way. Yeah. And it's actually, I was just talking to my friend about this the other day. If anything, it strengthens, it has wow. str helped strengthen the relationship. Wow. Because Body's your new, your new baby, yep. really, isn't it? And yep. did you come up with the concept together? We did, yeah. Right. About a couple of years ago, um, pretty much ever since Dancing with the Stars, we kind of fell into that dancing world together right. and then um, we always spoke about you know how awesome would it be to create a dance inspired program but yeah. not just dance that incorporated everything so you know the food element yeah. all the nutrition plans have your meditation there have all your stretch sessions um, I've always admired that dancer's physique yeah you know yes. beautiful posture toned lengthening in the body um, great endurance, muscular endurance, um, aerobic capacity, phenomenal. And so I've, I've always admired that from an outsider's perspective, as you know, I had two left feet. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so coming into the world of dance yeah. and learning it and being taught by Misha and discovering more and more about it, I was just completely overwhelmed and excited about how much it gave me not just from the physical perspective but from the yeah, mental as right, well right, right. so they're using dance in like old um, nursing homes yeah. Alzheimer's patients people with dementia because that memory remembering patterns yeah, um, wow, yeah. thinking of multiple things coordination musicality timing connection yeah. awareness of space it's so inc I look and go how do you remember it? those moves like that like it's incredible yeah you slowly and, you wow. slowly just um it's like brushing your teeth i'm going to the left first i know i'm about it becomes muscle memory right. Uh, yeah, right. <laughs> and does he dance with violet all the time is she, yeah she got his yeah she he loves it um not like in a, any studio or professional capacity, just at home. We've yeah. got the little UE boom, like the speaker. Yeah. We connect it via Bluetooth, let it blast, and they have a ball. Oh, he's yeah. a very hands-on dad. Yeah, which is... he's, yeah, very, I always say if he had um, boobs, he would be breastfeeding as oh, well. Oh, that's so beautiful <laughs> though. I mean, sick, but beautiful, Super you know. beautiful. Because you do realise how incredible your partner is or how lousy they are when you have kids, you yeah. know, where it's like, and totally. To just... It's a hard job. Yeah. It is the hardest, best job we will ever do on this yeah. earth. And there are times there you're going, just, oh, yeah. I can't go yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it is, it's hard. Yeah. 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 yeah, it's challenging and it really tests you. Totally. And patience is probably the biggest thing, you know, you're really putting in your pace with patience. Yeah, yeah. And so I think if you can conquer parenting or try to or get through it, then you know, you should be really proud of yourself. Because your kids go pretty much everywhere with you guys, don't yeah, they? Yeah, pretty I much. I do not get how you, because you didn't have any childcare or nannies for... We we have Misha's grandma yeah. and also Misha's, uh, Misha's grandma and Misha's mum. Yes. So, which is Violet's great grandma and know, grandma. Incredible. Phenomenal, yeah. 85 and still walking up and down stairs. It's amazing. Gets Violet, gets Dominic, you know, phenomenal. Wow. Um, so they're, they've been our major help yeah, yeah so if you know i'm shooting on a saturday all day or on a wednesday um 
Michelle, uh, Violet will go to Elizabeth's house or yeah. wh whichever one's available yeah. and we'll make it work. So, yeah. And on the weekend, so Friday night, we usually drop Violet at Misha's mum's house yeah. and then she'll spend Saturday there and then on Sunday morning, we'll pick her up first thing. Yeah, awesome. So, Which you, so I love that you are like, this is how, because my mum mm. has my boys a lot. Yeah. My son stays at my mum's a night a week. And yeah. I think having that community uh, having that village, yes, you need it totally. You got slammed for that though, yeah. <laughs> and I was like, "That's the fucking awesome setup." Because yeah. mine's not dissimilar to that either. Yeah, it's the judgment that comes along though, yeah. especially when you're in the public eye like that. I How think, did you handle that? I think it's difficult. I think it's challenging because a lot of people, when they look at that headline, they see I drop my daughter at my parents' house every weekend, mm. but. You know, when you go into the complexity of the week and the lifestyle, we don't live a conventional nine to five. No. I don't go to work nine to five, Monday to Friday. Sometimes I'm working at 10 p.m., sometimes on a Wednesday. Sometimes I'll shoot Monday, Wednesday, yeah. on Tuesday I'll have this and I'll, then I'll fly to Melbourne on Thursday and Friday. Violet comes with us to everything. Yeah. Violet's on set with us. Yeah. Violet flies with us. Um, Dominic's here today. Whatever it is, they're usually with us yeah. for that job or if it's something that's not appropriate, like in a, a night event, that's when they stay with the grandma. Yeah. Um, so when you look at it like that, uh, you know, we don't drop her at daycare Monday to Friday, which is where normal parents will drop the child off and then pick them up at five when they've finished work. Yeah. We've seen her every day. Yeah, but even for, if from you Monday to Friday, do you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah. even if you hadn't though, it's, mm. you, your family setup is your family setup. That's right. You that's, know, that's I exactly just, right. It's and all, it's all this. Let's not judge each other. But it's when it comes to being a mum, it's still so there. Yeah, you know, it's the totally. And everyone's entitled to their own opinion, and it will always be like that. And that's what social media is. Yeah, social media is. You know, everyone is able to express what they want more freely now. And it's a love-hate relationship because I love, love, love connecting with everyone and yeah. having that ability to learn so much about someone else and share with what I'm doing with someone else. Yeah. But at the same time, you go, oh, that's a nice, that's really nasty. Yeah, <laughs> I know. And then if they you know, meet you, oh my God, and then how did, that? Yeah, how, but I haven't told you the full story. Yeah. So, yeah. you know. Hey, tell me about when you got Dominic home. Yes. Yeah, so, and how did Violet take to him? Yeah. Um, we brought him home about four, I think we're in hospital for about four days. Um, just, we were just enjoying, you know, we yeah. had From all, of our, all of our guest visit and it was just a beautiful introduction you yeah. know, in, in the room. Um, and then brought him home and, you know, started the whole, because we've got a dog as well. Right. So it was like full house straight away. Yeah. Violet was a little bit jealous at the beginning, which was, you know, normal for any totally. any toddler. Yeah. Um, but I remember, you know, Dominic would have one of her neutral coloured old blankets wrapped around him. Yeah. <laughs> and she would come and say, that's my oh, blanket. So funny, isn't um, it? Things yeah. like that, yeah, you know. Yeah. But I think it was super important that we gave her the responsibility as an elder sister right. to help with all the jobs. So yeah, I would right. say, you know, we're changing Dominic's nappy. Can you help me get the nappy wipes? Do you want to help get, help mummy do, you know, heat up his milk right, or whatever right, it was. Right, yeah. yeah. Enroll so, her in the job. Exactly. Has she warmed to him a little bit more now? She, yeah, very good. Oh, she's so good. She's, she's really good. There's occasional days where, you know, she might be a little bit tired or yeah. moody or something or something's not 100% right. But um, nine times out of ten, she's she's a really really good big sister, that's and so I'm so grateful because yeah, that's lucky. You know, that's a, a, a part of that challenge of you know having a second child. I think yeah, is how all that bond bonding and that meshing goes in the household. Totally. So she, it does. The second baby changes the dynamic. Absolutely. My I couldn't leave my so I've got similar gap to you, a little bit less. Couldn't mm. leave my oldest alone with the baby for a year. Wow. Anytime I'd leave the room, I'd hear the baby scream. You're kidding. I'm like, I'm going to have that toddler that is actually really going to kill the baby. Wow. It's so unbelievable. Well, you've got, you've got these things in your head, like the bigger child sticking 
objects yes. in the baby's mouth. I or know, it was scary. We tapping on the him. head too hard or whatever yes. it is. And they're still not completely aware of that. No, they're you know, not. Pain and thresholds and things like that. No. So And also you're their world and it's like, who's this? I think it kicks in soon where it's like, this kid's this baby's not going anywhere. Yeah. And would love him so much but really aggressively. Yeah, like, exactly. Oh my god, you don't need to squeeze him stressful. that stressful. Yeah. So it's just a monitoring thing. And yeah. but Violet has always been quite a calm girl which has been really good it's so, so nice. it's been a she's been a, the best first child because oh. you know the introduction to parenthood is very overwhelming and very scary yeah so she's been quite good in with you know in that respect because she's been a really good introduction for us yeah she's and chilled You're she's lucky chilled then. she's calm she has her moments where she's you know it jumps around and sings to Elsa and you know, screams out loud yeah. for something or sings a song. But nine times out of ten, she's got a really chilled personality, mm. which I love. Oh, that's so nice. That's so, the opposite to my household. I think it'll be different with Dominic because yeah. I'm already noticing. He's just more mobile. He wants to move more. He wants to – he's getting his head up, holding his head up at eight weeks. Yeah. And Violet took months and yeah. months and months. <laughs> I'm going – Girl, girl, you're developing really slowly. <laughs> <laughs> and Dominic's, you know, He's, yeah. growing out of double O jumpsuits at eight weeks. And yeah. it's just phenomenal. Oh, no, you've got the boy now. Watch he's out. A big, he's a big boy. <laughs> Were your labours quite different? <laughs> Completely Were different. Were they? Yeah. So Violet was five and a half or just under six hours. Oh, that's still really, really quick. Yep, I remember um, a couple of contractions. Oh, like I had contractions leading up to the pushing, but a couple of contractions um, got she was out. And I remember. Hold on, you're making that sound like it was easy. I remember her coming onto my chest, and the obstetrician, congratulations, you've got a beautiful girl. And I said to Michelle, oh, we were just completely in this world of zen and amazement. Yeah. And I said, oh, I can't wait to do that again. And it was just the most blissful thing. And then um, 15 hours with Dominic. Oh, no way. And I remember he came onto my chest, still phenomenal, but I just thought that was the hardest thing I have ever had to endure. <laughs> so it would be like chalk, a... chalk and cheese. Wow. And Lots of people say, whatever your first birth experience is like, yeah. usually the second one is a lot easier and quicker. Yes. So I checked myself into hospital as soon as I felt a, a slight phase of contractions. Yeah, because you thought it would have been game on. Wednesday night, 9 o'clock, I was like, I think it, yep. Yeah. Time it for me, Angel, yep. Six minutes apart and they were lasting for about 30 seconds. But it was little period pain contractions. Yes, like, yeah. And I'm going, oh... But if Violet came at just under six hours, we've got to get to the hospital because yeah. if this is quicker, I just want to be monitored quicker. It was so embarrassing. Oh, okay. It's good. <laughs> I checked myself in, <laughs> went to the nurse. <laughs> she hooked me up to all the machines, did all the tests, internal examination. She goes, honey, I'll give you some Panadol. I'll have to get you to go home. Oh, you're kidding. And she sent you home. <laughs> With Panadol. Panadol, a big belly oh and a god. laughing husband. Oh my god, does it Panadol help at all, by the way? Oh, of course not. Why would she give you Panadol? Uh, it was just, you know, when you're pregnant, it's, that's just... Oh my god, so then when did you eventually, go, when we were like, okay, I'm going to go back in now? How well, we went home, because it was like midnight by then, I was yeah. tired, so I laid in bed, I think, for a couple of hours, I tried to get some sleep, and woke... I just remember waking on a contraction going, no, I've got to go back. We've got to go back. Um. So we got the suitcases back out. We went back in the car and we got there and she goes, same, honey. You can either, no. you can either sit at home. You're not even dilated. There's no changes. You might be feeling contractions. You're nowhere near active labour. Oh, You're just at the no. start. This is going to be a very long night for you. And I just remember thinking, but I'm in pain. Yeah. Like, I know my body. I'm very in tune with my body. And I was in tune with, with Violet because at the midway point at Violet's, during Violet's labour, was the same pain as the start of this one. Right, right, So right. I'm thinking if, if, if I'm feeling those contractions, that much pain yeah. at this point, 
I think I'm going to be ready soon. Yeah. So I said, I'd prefer if we can stay, if that's okay, just so I can be monitored. Anyway, 15 hours later. <laughs> oh. And, you know, everyone's got their own birthing story. Yeah. And, but it was just a, a long labour. Yeah, but 15 and hours isn't like... It's just with, with those painful contractions. And I think any woman that has a difficult labour knows how challenging it, yeah. it is. Um, but, yeah, 15 And just the cervix was just opening super slowly. Oh, it's the pits when they measure you and you're like, oh, I wish I didn't know that. Well, I think I was about five or six centimetres dilated and um, the nurse come in and I just wanted to push. Like, I was ready to push. Oh. And she's going, honey, just get some rest. I'm sorry, I can't do anything. Oh, which is the worst thing to hear. To it's yeah. like, if I'm going to be able to rest, are you kidding me? Just try, I hate when people just try and sleep. It's like... I'm about to do the biggest thing of my life <laughs> yeah. with this, this pain that's coming in and yeah. out. As if you can sleep. It's yeah, crazy. so you just, you know, you try and, and they, you know, they breathe it out. So <gasps> <laughs> you're breathing everything out as best you can. Yeah. Um, yeah, so it was funny because with Violet's birth, I had, you know, my yoga mat, the medicine ball set up, everything. Yeah. That all went out the window. Yeah, like. doesn't it? Seriously. <laughs> yeah, it's just like, just it, get this thing out. It survival. was so funny. Yeah. yeah. And so. when, because you, you were saying also that you almost feel like you've bonded quicker with Dominic than you did with Violet. Yeah, it's more that um, I think because we went through quite a challenging labour together. Yeah. Um, and, you know, we were both working really hard, but... You know, I definitely bonded with both. Did you do that instant? Were you like, oh, as soon as you saw your babies, did you get that? Definitely, yeah, straight right. away. Yeah. And no, we've definitely um, both connected in the most amazing way. Yeah. It's just, um, I think when you endure pain in anything in life mm -hmm. and when you go through a huge challenging circumstance, you, on the outturn of that, you're more affected and connected in a, in a specific way. Yeah, yeah, right. So, yeah. Um, yeah, it was just a magical... Like, I remember finishing um, the labour and, you know, you're quite exhausted and tired. Totally, and yeah. He was there and I, I didn't even think to think ask if he was a boy or a girl. Oh, didn't you? Because <laughs> we were just so... Wow. Yeah. So, um, and then Michelle was like, oh, I wonder what we had. Oh, my God, that's hilarious. <laughs> we had to check. <laughs> oh, my God, that is so funny. Yeah, so... Oh, wow. We, um, we left that a bit late. But <laughs> <laughs> now, because we do get everyone to bring a show and tell. Yes. And yours is the best. Well, I mean, it's not a competition <laughs> between the women, but you win. Like, this is oh, incredible. No, well, he is my number one show and tell at the moment. Oh, my God, of course he is. So, um... Um, Violet had her show and tell phase, but I want to get him to show him. Yes. Oh, oh. I love when they do that stretch. Oh. <laughs> so he didn't have a name for how how long? Like oh, a few days, like a, almost a week. Um, we we loved a few oh. names. We loved a few names, but. Just took us a little while to decide. Oh my gosh. I know, because you put it out there like, boys' names are hard. Yeah. Are they so hard? Well, we had... Um, oh, hi. Yeah, it's just also, what's he going to look like? Yeah. How do we know that he's going to suit that name? Um, Misha is Russian. We wanted to have, obviously, a little bit of influence of that, but yeah. we didn't want to make it too odd. We didn't want to make it too sort of normal. So we wanted a strong, good... Yeah, I so love the love, name. Do you call him Dom? Not yet, but I think he will get it when he gets oh, older. He, I love but it. I love it. So beautiful. Yeah. Me and so too. when when you were toying with other names, when we were like, "Yep, it's Dominic. This is it's him." Yeah. Well, when he came out, and when um, you know, those few days, you know, those few days into it, yeah, Dominic just suited him. Right. Yeah. So it was just I don't know. Oh hey yo 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 yo. <laughs> yes. Are you gonna oh, give us goodness. a smile? Is he smiling yet? Yes, he is. How old was he when he started to smile? Last week. Oh, so seven best? weeks. Oh, oh it's phenomenal. My boys were about ten weeks, and I remember yeah. going, "Are you in there? Yeah. Like, give me something." Oh, the please. moment, the moment that you can actually, they look at your eyes and connect. Yes. That was probably that's a really significant moment for me. Yeah. Because at the start they're going, "Oh, all these colours." Yeah. I think it's black and white for a, quite a lot of time, oh. and so um. When they can actually connect, oh, that's totally. That's when I special. felt really in love with my boys. Like, I loved them and felt protective. But yeah. it was when they first smiled when I was like, oh, my God. Like, it's amazing, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, there's someone in there, the soul. That's when I think yeah. the soul comes out. Yeah. 
So he's Hello, a good Mikey. boy. He's gone through a few nights where he's, um, you know, you're waking every sort of two or three hours. But he has a, he's had a couple of nights there where he's done only woken once in the night. Which it's is just like, which is pretty good. Yeah, that's yeah. the shit at mother's group. You don't tell other people. No, you're like my baby's sleeping oh, through. Horrendous. Oh no, you're, yeah, you got to pretend, don't you? With those things, like yeah. <laughs> did you ever do any mother's group kind of thing? I didn't. No, no I didn't. Do, I didn't I've got a lot of girl. Long. I've got a lot of girlfriends that um, have kids anyway. Yeah. So yeah. my thinking is, I, you know, our time in life is pretty valuable, and yeah. as beautiful as it is to catch up with other people in the same circumstances. It's hard to find time even for my yeah. our own family. So yeah, yeah. we want to try and make the most of, you know, our our own friends and that that we've got. I know. It yeah. is. It is. It is hard. It yeah. is challenging with you. Yeah. It's so <laughs> yummy. You've got one of each. Yes. Oh, that's so awesome. Well, this is the thing. We didn't find out sexes with any of them. Yeah. And Misha and I were in agreement that if it was a girl, if he was a girl, yeah. we would try again like really quickly because really? we want we wanted one of each. Yeah, yeah. And so we're so blessed that we had the boy to oh, no. equal it out. And I think the kitchen's closed for a while now. Yeah, so. yeah, for a while. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. mate. I know you can't even think about it. Okay, no. so you filmed the birth, right? Yeah, I did. Did yeah. you film both births? Uh, no, just this one. With Violet, we only sort of took pictures. I remember getting, you know, selfies after it or whatever, just with our iPhone. Yeah. And I don't know, I just wanted to capture. Yeah. I wanted to capture such a real, genuine, incredible moment that yeah. I probably won't get ever again in my life yeah. of this specific nature. No. And... Um, yeah, so I decided to film it, and it was the best thing ever. And I couldn't look at it for quite a while. No, I'm surprised you've looked at it now because I filmed yeah. mine. Took my one, it took me five months. Five months, yeah. I couldn't look at it because yeah. you can it, it, when it's. Too, and I remember just after I'd given birth, Sam played it. Yeah. Back, and I said, and I burst into tears. I'm like, get it off, yeah. get it off. Yeah, yeah. Because just that hearing that noise. Yeah. And it, you can almost get the sensation back a Correct. little bit. Correct. That's why it takes a little while. Yeah. People are either real like, yep, yeah, I'm going to film my bath yes. birth, or like. Never, never want to see that. It's like cat or dog owners. It's it is so true. So black and white. Yes. You're either for it or against it. Yeah. And to be honest, before I did it, I was against it. So was I. Yeah. And then it's the best thing ever. Because I thought. Because I thought. Because I thought. No, that's you know a personal thing. I'm not going to ever. Why would I record that? Yeah. But I'm glad I did because yes. the, mo oh. the moment I played it back, actually a couple of weeks ago, I couldn't believe it. It was like, I was like Niagara Falls. Oh my God. Oh my God. And it's like not you, isn't it? It's like watching it going, oh wow. And it's all, it was much bigger than what I thought it, it, it was much bigger. Yeah, bigger in my mind at the time than what it played back to be. Right, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Because you, it's so intense and internal um, pain. It's yeah. so intense. When you watch it back from the outside, it's much different. Right. 